Good evening and welcome to Midnight Movie Club and another Trailer Talk video. In tonight's video we will be breaking down Trailer 2 for Jordan Peele's upcoming horror, Us. In a video I done last week we talked about how Peele is upset when people don't class Get Out as a horror and here in this trailer I'm getting the impression he wanted to amp the horror up for Us as it has less of that Peele comedic undertone that the first trailer had and more of a straight up horror vibe. So let's get into it. So in the very first shot we get a look at the Wilson's car as they drive up to their holiday home and we see out the rear window with their family car sticker right in our face. I've got a feeling they might need to add another sticker for their doubles as we all know they will have their doppelgangers joining them on this trip. All while we get some shots of the Wilsons again in the beachside town that they are arriving at, we get a voiceover from Lupita Nyong'o's character Adelaide saying, you know sometimes things line up, coincidences, since we've been up here, they've been happening more and more. We eventually see that she is explaining it to her husband Gabe, played by Winston Duke, as he looks at her like she is mental. I'm guessing this happens the night that they are attacked before their doppelgangers show up. This will just be after they have put the kids to bed or something before everything kicks off. We know that Adelaide had a traumatic event that happened to her in her past and she seems to know quite a bit about what is going on and it seems she is trying to get Gabe to open his eyes to it and take notice of what she is. We know that once they go in this getaway, Adelaide becomes far more paranoid and worried than ever as she can feel that something bad is going to happen to her and her family, so I'm guessing this is after their day at the beach with the Tyler family. Adelaide then goes on to say it's like there's this black cloud hanging over us. As she says this we get a flash of the storm we got a look at back in trailer 1 so this black cloud metaphor and this storm are definitely something to do with the doppelgangers in my opinion. I do believe that this is some sort of supernatural event bringing out the dark and twisted side within everyone in this town and manifesting it into the doppelgangers we've seen that eventually attack and kill everyone. But going back a little bit, while Adelaide was talking we got a couple of very interesting shots that have me scratching my head a little bit and have my theory loving brain going at light speed, so let's dig into them. In the first one here we have a man holding a sign that says Jeremiah 1111. Now I looked into it and I found the verse from the Bible and this is what it had to say. Therefore, this is what the Lord says, I will bring on them a disaster they cannot escape. Although they cry out to me, I will not listen to them. So my interpretation of this is basically God is taking vengeance upon them and even when they ask God for help, God will not answer them. God has essentially abandoned them all and is essentially punishing them for some reason. I kind of have a feeling that maybe everyone in this town has possibly done some sort of heinous act in their past and they are being punished for it now, as God is sending new versions of themselves down to punish them. I don't know too much, but just seeing that the film now has a religious aspect to it, it has my mind racing. We also see the same guy in another shot and this time he has 1111 on his forehead and his face is pale as hell with big dark eyes. We also see that this person is in a location that keeps coming up so we know that they definitely have something to do with what is happening and aren't just a crazy person saying something that has nothing to do with the film as we can confirm that this is the same location as another shot we see here. As you can tell both of the walls are the same and with the bricks on them so we can tell it's the same place. And in this shot here we have what looks like a bunch of cult like members all dressed in white huddled around something on the ground that looks like it could be some sort of dead animal. Maybe an animal they have sacrificed for some sort of ritual or something like that. And where this is taking place I have no idea but it's the same as where we see the Jeremiah guy. My best guess would be that it's the facility we've seen previously previously that almost resembles a mental institution and a school kinda put into one. It really does come up a lot and I'm looking forward to seeing what this location has to do with the tethered. We also get another look in a few new shots at when the doppelgangers first attack the Wilsons at their holiday home. This is also coupled with creepy whistling of the nursery rhyme Itsy Bitsy Spider which worked brilliantly to amp up the horror vibe I thought. 
there's nothing creepier than nursery rhymes and the itsy bitsy spider nursery rhyme itself has a meaning of never giving up on something and having a strong will to carry on and get back up and do it again so I'm wondering if this is a test for the characters to test their will or something like that but then again the Jeremiah 1111 says otherwise that just says outright destruction. But moving on though, we get some more of the doppelgangers movement and they are just so twitchy and creepy, I love it. And the way they move to the violins and the music, it's just perfect, it's going to look amazing in the theatre. Then we get some shots we have seen before, like the tree shot of the tethered member climbing up the tree in really, really creepy fashion. Then we get some nice new close-up shots of the tethered and better lighting for a nice clear look. And they just look insane. The cast look like they are killing it as the everyday family and the psychotic doubles of them. We get this awesome shot as well of the young lad Jason standing with his mask on looking at something with one of the tethered behind him out of focus, twitching their way back up, maybe recovering from being ran over by the SUV we can see behind them, but once again here, the movement of these doppelgangers known as the tethered is just awesome. Once again we see Adelaide running on the beach with a fire poke looking all beaten up and then the tethered lined up holding hands facing all these dead bodies and then another shot again of the young girl who sees the storm who I still believe is a young Adelaide possibly. Then we get Adelaide facing off with her doppelganger in front of the rabbit cages once again and I'm very interested to see what the rabbits have to do with what is going on along with the ballet dancer we saw in trailer 1 and the people now crowded around this dead animal in this trailer. I have so many questions. Continuing on though, we see shots that we've seen before of Mrs. Tyler struggling after being attacked, someone being attacked on a boat, and Jason with his tethered counterpart who seems peaceful towards him, for now at least anyway. Then we get the asylum-like building again with the rabbits and the tethered Adelaide running down the hallway. Then we finish off with a couple of very interesting shots of Jason popping a T-pose and then so does his tethered double, as if maybe he's found a way to make them act like themselves, or control them the way that they move at least like a voodoo doll or something like that. I thought that was very interesting, the tethered copied him, or maybe he is copying the tethered, who knows. The trailer then concludes with Adelaide screaming and Jason answering Gabe saying, it's us. So yeah, in my opinion, great trailer and more to the point, a fantastic trailer too. It answered nothing from trailer 1 and raised more questions than the first, which is great. But that's me now, I'm good, I'd love it if they just keep it at the two trailers that I've seen, I've seen enough and I'm so ready to go see this film. I will definitely be there on opening night and we'll get a review out for you all as soon as I've seen it. But that's enough of me going on and on, how did you find this trailer and are you as ready for us as I am? Let me know what you think of the main points of this trailer I brought up and what your interpretations of them are. Who were the people in the hallway crowding round the seemingly dead animal and what do you make of the Jeremiah 1111 reference? What could it possibly all mean? If you do want me to do another video on these questions trying to answer them then do let me know in the comments. I mean, I answered them best I could here but I could elaborate on them a little bit more in a separate video. Also, if you want to know more on the tethered, go check out my video on them, I will leave a link to it in the description. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video give it a like and if you haven't already then subscribe to join the club. As always, thank you very much for watching and good night.